Turning to some sad news from the Canadian music scene, Miles Goodwin, the legendary Canadian musician and songwriter who shot to stardom as the lead singer of April Wine, has died. He was 75. Goodwin is being remembered today as one of the great songwriters of the classic rock era and as someone who showed the world that Canadian rock bands could be internationally successful. Give it everything that she got. The legendary Canadian musician who led international rock superstars April Wine has died. Miles Goodwin was 75. His publicist, Eric Alper, says Goodwin died Sunday in Halifax. No cause of death was announced. In the last couple of hours, seeing the passing of Miles Goodwin of April Wine on the front page of Rolling Stone magazine of the New York Times of The Guardian in the UK and about 6,000 other publications around the world. It's made me realize not only do these songs remain favorite to so many people, but so many people saw them play back in the 1970s and 80s that are writing these stories. <laughs> Led by Goodwin, April Wine sold 10 million recordings worldwide and was inducted into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame in 2010. The band was also added to Canada's Walk of Fame this fall. The group formed in Halifax in 1969 and consisted of Goodwin, his friend Jim Henman, and Henman's cousins, David and Richie Henman. After moving to Montreal, the band would go on to record a steady stream of hit songs in the 1970s and early 1980s, including You Could Have Been a Lady, You Won't Dance With Me, Roller, and Just Between You and Me. Their 1975 album, Stand Back, was the first by a Canadian band to sell more than 100,000 copies. Their 1978 album, First Glance, would be their first gold album outside of Canada, while 1981's The Nature of the Beast would help them attain platinum status on both sides of the border. I would probably say that they're every rock and roller from 1985 onwards owes a debt of thanks and gratitude for April Wine being able to bust down the doors for Canadian music worldwide. So I think partly his influence is going to be just the sheer crunchiness and beautifulness of, of rock and roll music. I think the second part of it is going to be how to live your life in a way that suits you rather than how it suits the music industry. In later years, Goodwin released several solo blues recordings. He stepped away from April Wine earlier this year due to health issues and no longer wanting to live out of a suitcase, but continued to perform and work with other musicians.